Hello, welcome in gems. This is Sapphire and today we are going to be covering how I got this beautiful background back here. How can you do it? You can do it without literally like any 3D knowledge. All you need is The Sims 4. That is right. I used The Sims 4 to create multiple backgrounds. I'll just show you guys a few examples of what I've got going here. So I got this first one as you can see in the background. I've got this second one which is a oh my goodness my tablet. This is my uh this is my this is another angle basically of the room so uh in the fish i added these are just pngs this is oh a my goodness somebody get me the manager bro i'm recording and somebody just <laughs> okay you know what it's fine it's fine yo polite z thank you so much for the follow you're freaking amazing welcome to the eternal gems yo even though this is totally in the middle of a youtube video uh anyways yeah so we got this second room we've got also my hallway with Dwayne chan he's a huge joke on our stream over there so yeah this is my hallway and uh Dwayne chan that was a pretty expensive painting it was like three thousand dollars but you know that's fine now seeing as the rock is the people's champion you know that's fine and uh i'm gonna be working on more but this is the last one i worked on this is my kitchen that i have so again as you can see there's some real-time stuff going on in the background you can see the flame flickering you can see the snow in the background i'm gonna teach you and show you how to do all of that in this video so let's get started also the coolest part about the backgrounds like this is if you're using something like 3 teen which is what i'm using to control my avatar there we had a joke on stream where one of our members we I was looking for spices in the cabinet. I'll just leave it at that. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go check and see what spices I have in my cabinet. It was just really funny. It made it very interactive, again, without having much ability to do physical animations and stuff. So again, this opens up so many doors and so many opportunities for people to sort of live in a 3D world with their VTuber without putting in a crazy amount of time and effort where you might not have it. So what I did was I have The Sims 4. You could use The Sims 3. Honestly, if you have any Sims games, this could work for you uh again see this is not necessarily completely free option if you don't own the sims but it is a really fun game regardless and uh it's it's a it's a fun game i like it a lot and again if you have the sims 4 sitting around here you go perfect opportunity and if you don't have sims 4 and you want the sims 4 it's on the origin app i think it's considered an app the origin app so i'll drop a link and important links down below to origin and then you can go to the store and you can buy the sims this video is not sponsored by ea lol lol so what I did was I went to Willow Creek and I just chose my house, so I'm gonna choose this house. It's really awful. I have the sim that lives there trapped in a room right now because I needed him to not be in the camera shot, so it's kind of messed up. It's it's really messed up, and just please don't judge me for these actions. I swear I'm not evil. One eternity later. So as you can see, the sim that I have living... Okay, actually, let's... All right, so as you can see, this is sort of my house. I didn't set up everything completely the way I want it. Like this is not gonna be the living room. I only set up the areas in which I've recorded so far, which is my hallway, my kitchen, and my main room. So what I did was, the way you can get this recorded background is you have this little button down here that you can click and uh, right here you have screenshot, you have start or stop video capture, and you have screenshot capture manager. So basically uh, the first thing you actually want to do before you even go there is go into your settings to make sure it's at the correct settings that you want when you're recording. So I'm going to go down to game options and then you're going to head go ahead and click screen capture. So I changed my capture size to large and I changed my capture quality to uncompressed. This is gonna make it a pretty large file. Uh, again, it depends on how much your computer can handle and such like that. I have pretty a pretty beastly computer. If you feel like you need something else because it gives you low performance, that's fine. Uh, but you can go high, you can go uncompressed. They're both good. I'm pretty sure uncompressed is gonna be your best bet. What I did, I don't remember what the dis default things are, so I'm just gonna restore defaults here really quickly uh, to show you guys what I did. I don't know what, okay, there we go. Yes. Okay, so basically, uh, you're gonna wanna uncheck music probably, DMCA. You probably don't want the music in the background. Voice so you don't have random sims talking sound effects i did want on again i'm not sure as far as dmca stuff you'd have to check if this affects it i have mine turned off in uh in streamlabs but that's fine i'm just going to uncheck that for now or again if you want it checked up to you and then ui sounds uh no i also don't want I, so i'm going to turn all that extra crap off so i can just record the footage capture ui also unchecked if it is checked because you don't want to have all the sims ui in there so make sure that's unchecked it will show you where when you record your video 
videos what path they go to this is extremely important for when you need to find where the video was recorded to everybody's is going to be different i tried to change it i don't know if you can manually change it but this is where mine is it's kind of a ridiculously long path to get to uh but again check this to figure out where the videos you are recording are being sent to where they will be when you're done recording okay so i'm going to go ahead and click apply changes i'll exit out so now what you can do is i'm going to pull up my walls as well well <laughs> I'm going to pull up my walls as well. And now you're going to want to set your camera up in whatever position you want. Mine was about here for one of my videos. Cool part is if you get really cool lights, you can also change the lights to like different colors. You can turn the lights off. You can, there's so much you can do with the Sims uh, as far as, as far as aesthetic goes. So again, I can change the color intensity. So maybe your brand or your YouTube channel has a certain color that you use a lot. See, maybe I want to go with a red or maybe I want to go with a green or an orange. Um, we'll go with like a blue aqua e color for now, because why not? So again, there's a lot of different options. Uh, you can go into this build section up here, build mode, and you can build out the room that you want. Uh, this is not a Sims tutorial, so I'm not going to go completely into it. But yeah, so build, you can build out a room you want. And the other cool thing is there's there's actually this thing I'll drop below. It's a, it's a little engine for Sims where you can pretty much retexture any single object in the game you can retexture objects so if you wanted to do something if you know how to draw but you don't know how to 3d model this is literally perfect that means you would be able to retexture something like this guitar and put whatever you want on the guitar itself you can you can make it a custom thing if you know how to paint it's pretty simple uh, if you guys are interested in that I'll do a separate tutorial for stuff like that but yeah so you can retexture anything super cool so I just built out my room I go ahead and click this little camera button and then I click start uh, slash stop video capture so so now it's recording and I can just sit here and let it record the snow falling down as you can see the candles flicking. Be careful too because I'm pretty sure it can re it records when this little highlight goes over the bed so do be careful of that. That's something you want to make sure you're being cautious of. It also records your camera movement so if you want to go over to this TV it's recording this right now. It's recording my full camera movement so if you wanted to have like a little tour of your house thing you can you can do something like this. There's so many options so much potential with using this tool. So then you're going to go ahead and click stop. And now what I'm going to do is pause my game. I'm going to open my file explorer. I'm going to go to where it's saved. All right. So now I'm in the Sims 4 folder, EA Sims 4. It's going to go ahead and be in recorded video. So as you can see, I've had a lot of different ones here. This is the one we just recorded. And it's possible that it won't open in this video player. This happened to me last time where it can't play. If you get that error, go ahead and right click on the video and try to click open with uh, Windows Media Player. I don't know why it doesn't work with the movies and TV, but it will work on your stream. So don't worry about that, or at least it should. So now I have Windows Mo Media Player and you can see how the snow is falling you can see the whole recording and now I'll go forward and you can also see that it is recording my camera movement so again this is great to create a background or a 3d world for your vtuber again without having to actually build the world from the ground up again you can retexture objects too and it, that is a whole nother thing I can also go over like I said in another video but there that is and now let's hop over into Streamlabs to show you how you can add this to your stream or to your recording for YouTube cool so I'm in my Streamlabs and now what what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go ahead and actually I don't even you can do it this way I didn't do this do it this way so what I did was I went straight to where the file was or where the video was so again you're gonna go back to that folder where it's saved which again in the sims it shows you there which folder it saves into and literally what I did was I just clicked and I dragged it straight into my Streamlabs OBS so I clicked I dragged it it's a dot avi now I'm just going to expand it to this size and I'm going to make sure it's underneath my 3D VTuber it's which it should be you just want to make sure the layer is correct and as you can see now it's playing the video that I had and I just did a still basically then so mine is all just stills where I'm not moving the camera like this with my VTuber there so you it also is going to bring that audio in so uh, if you scroll over let me move myself so you guys can lol actually see uh <laughs> so basically if you look over here, video 35 AI or .avi, that's the audio to the sim. So if you had any of those boxes on or checked, like recording the music or the snow falling or whatever you have in the background, that's the audio that's going to be playing through here. You can just mute it. You can delete it. Uh, but I, I'm just going to mute it there because I don't want it playing through. Or maybe you do. Again, totally up to you. But then you should be ready to go. And I'll give you an example again of what it looks like when these things are put together. Oh, we're back in my room now. As you can see, there are cars looping in the background. The 
candle flames are also looping and the real-time lighting is looping behind me. There are moments where you can see it reset, so I haven't found a full solution to that yet to make it sort of blend into itself but it's not a huge deal it's not the end of the world and again with real-time lighting and stuff like you see on the bed right there that's shining uh that's the only time where it becomes slightly a problem but other than that it's pretty it's a pretty good makeshift way to create a 3d space or a 3d room and as you can see i have paintings of that is a 3d model someone in the community made of sapphire and then in the back there vox made a troll version or a bling saya so and those were all done through that thing i said earlier which I'll drop down below the Sims, the Sims modding thing where you can retexture paintings, and that's how I brought my own paintings into Sims. So again, hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. If you have any questions, of course, please drop or leave a comment below. And if you want to catch me live on Twitch, I'm at twitch.tv slash sapphire. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Have a good one. Goodbye!